Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 20. Now Pashur, the son of Immer, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house of the Lord, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Pashur smote Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. And it came to pass on the morrow that Pashur brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then said Jeremiah unto him, The Lord hath not called thy name Pashur, but Magor Misabib. For, the Lord, for thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself, and to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and thine eyes shall behold it, and I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive into Babylon, and shall slay them with the sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the strength of this city, and all the labors thereof, and all the precious things thereof, and all the treasures of the kings of Judah will I give into the hand of their enemies, which shall spoil them, and take them, and carry them to Babylon. And thou, Pasher, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity, and thou shalt come to Babylon, and there thou shalt die, and shalt be buried there, thou and all thy friends to whom thou hast prophesied lies. O Lord, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily, every one mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil, because of the word of the Lord, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in mine heart, as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. For I heard the defaming of many, fear on every side. Report, they say, and we will report it. All my familiars watched me, watched for my halting, saying, Peradventure he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Therefore my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But, O Lord of hosts, that trieth, triest the righteous, and seest the reins in the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Sing unto the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, for he hath delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of the evil doers. Of evil doers. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bore me be blessed. Cursed be the man who brought tidings to my father, saying, A man child is born unto thee, making him very glad. And let that man be as the cities which the Lord overthrew and repented not, and let him hear the cry in the morning, and the shouting at noontide, because he slew me not from the womb, that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb to be always great with me. Wherefore came I forth out of the womb, to see labor and sorrow, that my day should be consumed with shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So in this chapter, when we see here, Pasha, the son of Immer, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house, smotes Jeremiah, the prophet, and puts him in stocks. Okay, and what does Jeremiah say? And this is what is very powerful. When I write the seven levels of male understanding, I put the prophets at level two, right? And I put them there because even though they don't necessarily have, for example, the lifespan of the antediluvian patriarchs, or you see here that 
you know, for example, um, you know, Jeremiah talks about how he is mocked. You know, he's mocked because he's different than the other men in terms of the fact that he serves God as a prophet. So they mock him, you know. You can imagine them saying things like they said in the wilderness um, during the uh, during Exodus, saying, where is Jehovah? They cannot see Jehovah. So in this case, they're mocking Jeremiah the prophet. So even though he doesn't have the same blessings as men of the different levels of the understanding, Jeremiah does have a, you know, a unique and distinct relationship with God which allows him to overcome the adversity in his life. And that's exactly what we're going to see here when I reread these passages here. So when we look at Jeremiah 24, all right, um, we're going to go ahead and read what Jeremiah says here. He says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself and to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and thine eyes shall behold it. And I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive into Babylon, and shall slay them with the sword. So what do we see here? We see the understanding that Jeremiah knows that because of his service to God, that God is going to punish Pasher and his people for what he has done to Jeremiah. So that's the idea there. And if we read on here, we're going to see yet another example of how Jeremiah's wisdom as a prophet is manifest in the Bible. So we'll read here in Jeremiah 20, 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Therefore my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. So that is what I wanted to share there, is that idea that Jeremiah says that because the Lord is with him. Do you see what he says? He doesn't say because I have great numbers or great physical strength or great riches. He says because the Lord is with me, I will prevail. He says because the Lord is with me, my persecutors will stumble. He says because the Lord is with me, he says you know, essentially that he will overcome this adversity. And that's what I find to be very beautiful about the prophets is that I think actually of how I speak when I think about God, how I talk when I think about God, because the way I talk, I would say something like, God, you know, whatever this result is, you deliver this result to me. Whatever the success is, to you be the glory for the success. God, I say thank you because you are the reason for my salvation. You know, and that's the way Jeremiah is talking here. Because I never say, I always say that victory does not come from strength of arms, but from the Lord thy God. And that's the way Jeremiah is speaking in this chapter. He, when he speaks, he says, but the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. That's the transition there, but the Lord is with me. He doesn't say, like Hezekiah, that I have riches. He doesn't look like David and say, I have numbers. He looks as the prophet Jeremiah and says, I have God. And of course, David also was a great man in his own right. I'm just giving that example of David counting the census. So he tells Pasha, he tells him, presumably to his face, that you are going to get obliterated and sent over to Babylon. And he says that later on in the passage, right, he says, the Lord is with me, and that will be the reason that I prevail. And I thought that there was tremendous wisdom in that because of those examples that I mentioned in terms of, you know, God is the one that should be called upon and to him be the glory. Amen. And with that now, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked at my core, I uploaded and scheduled five workout videos, and I have created this Daily Dive video for 121.24. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.